All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube station. My name is Peter Draws, but today I'm painting. Look, as artists, we are extraordinarily excellent at coming up with excuses to not make art. We are artists, but a lot of the time, art is not a big part of what we do, just because um, maybe we should be called excusists or something like that. This is an oil painting, and I've never really done an oil painting before because it's so easy to come up with excuses uh, for, for, for why not to do an oil painting when there's so many other types of art, so many other mediums that are so much easier to work with. I mean, just, I mean, just think about it. All these other things, a pen, a paper, you're good to go. Even just like all these other types of paint, watercolor, acrylic, a brush, a uh, paint, and something to paint on, and you're good to go. It's pretty straightforward. Now, it can be that easy with oil paints, I'm sure, but anyone who's ever been into an arts, arts and crafts store and has stepped a foot into the, the aisle with all the oil painting supplies uh, has probably gotten a little whiff of the overwhelming... Uh, it can be intimidating. All the, the chemicals they have lining the shelves, all the thinners and thickeners and cleaners and additives and negatives, and it's just crazy. And you think, wow, oil painting sounds cool, and I, it seems cool. I've seen people do cool stuff with it. It looks like it could be fun, but I just don't know where to start. Like, can I just grab a, a brush and paint and something to paint on and go? Or do I need to grab one of the, those jugs of things or one of those little tubes of ointment to put in my oils? Or do I need this or that? Do I need to go to college to do oil paint? Do I need to watch a bunch of YouTube videos first? It can be crazy. So I've never really done oil paints before for, for all of these reasons and above. And because... I'm pretty good at doing other things, including makeup excuses. But I did take an oil painting class once at a local museum. I signed up for like eight weeks. You go once a week. And I didn't go back after the first time. What I really just wanted to know was how to use all those extra chemicals that were so daunting and overwhelming to me. But uh, this guy totally turned me off of the class. First of all, he did way too much talking at the beginning. We all just stood around with our easels and our, our paint supplies and our canvas pads or whatever. I'm like, I came here to learn how to use oil paint supplies, you know, not stand around and listen to you talking. If you're just going to talk and demonstrate things, I can stay home and watch YouTube videos and not wear pants. And then, once we did get started, I did learn a few couple valuable things, you know, about how to clean, how to start, use the thinner paint, you know, the Gamsol. I used a lot, I did use a lot, of, that's the main thing I used. Besides surface to paint on, besides the paintbrush, besides the paint. Gamsol is probably the thing I use the most, which is a type of paint thinner that, it's like turpent, I don't know what term, it's, it's a paint thinner that doesn't like smell a lot and give you a headache, I think. Anyways, that's why I use a lot, because it, it thins out the, uh, the oil paints and helps you blend things, and I don't know, I like dipping my paintbrush in it sometimes, and it, it aids, it aids with the slather. Anyways, I didn't go back to the class because at one point during the class, the teacher or instructor, whatever you want to call it, this guy came over and I had a question and his way of answering my question was to take my paintbrush out of my hand and use my paintbrush on my canvas. Which that just seems like a big, a big, huge, massive, swollen no-no to me. <laughs> You, you just don't do that, right? You don't take someone else's paintbrush and start arting on their art, right? I would never presume to do that. At least you'd ask first. And I wouldn't probably never even ask, like, hey, like if someone, at, if I was teaching a class and someone said, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? I don't even know what I was asking. It probably wasn't, how do I paint this? It was probably just like, hey, how much of this of this one chemical should I use, or how much of that chemical should I use? It was pro I don't, there was no reason for him to, I didn't go back, anyways, sorry. Anyways, um, I will confess there was at least one or two times in this painting that I was doing, and when I was recording, when I committed the capital sin of making 
a painting video, which is, I forgot to hit the record button, but that's okay. Just like I'm good at coming up with excuses for why not to make art, I'm good at coming up with excuses for why I wasn't recording. Uh, while in this case it was sheer negligence, uh, I can come up with other excuses like maybe it could have been that I was using some super secret ancient Chinese ninja warrior secret painting techniques that I could not under any circumstances show or show on YouTube or even record on camera, right? Or it could have been that I was getting a little camera shy, a little stage fright, and that it was affecting my art making. And uh, so I just had to turn up the camera for a bit. So it was just me and the art and that was my way of progressing with the painting. Or it could have been that uh, the painting progressed in such a way that I felt lost and discouraged and didn't know how to uh, continue. And so I scrapped the whole painting and then I started over and uh, with an entirely new painting and uh, you know had the old one sitting there by, by the side and, and made the new one and kind of got it up to a, a similar point where I could start recording again, where it was, it, it could conceivably be believed that it would be the same painting with just a big jump cut in between where I had done a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Anyways, this is a painting with oils uh, on, a, on a piece of canvas, 16 by 20 inches. I used a paintbrush and I used some Gamsol as a thinner and, uh, there was something else I wanted to say, of course, but that's, that's normal. And I forgot about it. All right. All right. Goodbye, everybody. I'll say it next time. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Goodbye.